Hey everyone, welcome back to Victor's efficient and safe building channel. Today, we're diving into an essential part of concrete construction that's often overlooked but super important. Concrete curing. In our last vlog, we covered the three most common types of concrete curing. In this vlog, we'll focus on the most widely used method water curing. Concrete needs water to cure properly. Without enough moisture, the curing process stops, leading to weak, cracked, or underperforming concrete. That's where water curing comes in a process that keeps the concrete moist so it gains its full strength. There are several ways to water cure concrete, and each method has its own purpose depending on the project. Let's break them down. 1. Ponding method. What it is, a method where water is pulled or flooded over flat surfaces, like slabs or pavements, best for horizontal surfaces like floors, pavements, and slabs. How it works. Low barriers are built around the surface to retain water, keeping the concrete submerged. Advantages. Maintains consistent moisture and temperature for hydration. 2. Spraying or fogging. What it is, water is sprayed or misted over the concrete using sprinklers, hoses, or fogging devices, best for large vertical or horizontal surfaces like walls and beams. How it works. Regular spraying ensures the surface stays moist, especially in hot or windy conditions. Advantages. Easy to apply and effective for preventing drying. 3. Wet coverings. What it is, using absorbent materials like burlap, hessian, or cotton mats soaked in water and placed over the concrete. Best for surfaces that need prolonged moisture retention. How it works, the materials are kept consistently wet, ensuring even moisture distribution. Advantages, provides continuous curing without needing constant spraying. 4. Curing by water retention plastic sheets. What it is, using plastic sheets, polythene covers, or membrane forming curing compounds to trap water within the concrete. Best for areas with limited access to water for regular curing. How it works, the sheets or compounds reduce evaporation and hold moisture. Advantages, reduces water usage and is ideal for areas with water scarcity. Each method has its own strengths and is chosen based on the project requirements, weather conditions, and available resources. For example, ponding is great for flat surfaces, while spraying is perfect for large vertical structures. Remember, proper curing is crucial for strong, crack-resistant concrete. So, always choose the method that fits your project best. So there you have it the four main types of water curing in concrete construction. I hope this breakdown helps you pick the right method for your next project. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below. Until next time, stay efficient and build safely.